How did January 1st become the first day of the year? The earliest Roman calendar had 10 months, with March being the first. January and February were later added as the 11th and 12th months respectively. There are conflicting accounts as to when and why January and February were moved to the front. Traditional Roman accounts claim that Numa Pompilius, the second king of Rome, made the change as early as circa 700 BCE because January was named after Janus, the Roman god of beginnings. Historian Theodore Mommsen argued that the change actually took place much later, in 153 BCE, so that a Roman consul could take office on January 1st instead of the usual March 15th in light of Roman losses in the Lusitanian War. In any case, the Roman Julian calendar, introduced in 46 BCE by Julius Caesar, began on January 1st. In medieval Europe, March 1st, March 25th, and December 25th, were also considered to be the first day of the year in honor of the original Roman calendar, the Feast of the Annunciation, and Christmas Day, respectively. In 1582, Pope Gregory XIII modified the Julian calendar into the Gregorian calendar, maintaining the start date of January 1st. While Catholic Europe quickly adopted the change, Protestant countries took longer to do so. Britain, for example, officially considered March 25th to be the first day of the year until 1752, when it finally adopted the Gregorian calendar. This calendar, along with the start date of January 1st, is now standard throughout most of the world, having spread outside the West in the 19th and 20th centuries.